Welcome back. This is Rupesh and you are watching CVPNet's video series on C++. And in the previous video we saw that how to deal with pre-increment and pre-decrement. And in this video we will be seeing about post-increment and post-decrement. Okay. So as it is post, let's suppose we are having this integer variable, let's suppose a here. And as it is post, it will be like this one and this one. Okay. So this is nothing but a is equal to a plus 1 here. If you have watched my previous video, you will be able to understand this little quick here. Okay. So better I recommend watching this video before you go and watch my previous video of this video. Okay. So we know that if it is a plus plus, the expansion of this one is this one. And if it is a minus and minus, this is the expansion for this one. Okay. And why it is post? This plus plus is coming after a. Okay. That's why it is post. Got it? And the same for this minus minus also. Okay. So here we can see that this is post increment and this is post decrement. So this is nothing but a is equal to a plus 1 and this is nothing but a is equal to a minus 1. So like this. So let's compile this and try to understand what is happening here. So before that I'll tell you that this is a is equal to a plus 1. So this will become 11 and we are decrementing it. So this will again become 10 here. Okay. So let's check that. See. It is first 11 and then it is again 10 here. Okay. But you know what? There is some magic when you use post increment and post decrement. So let's see that magic. And that magic happens when you use some another variable and you initialize that variable with this expression here. Okay. So we can use it like this C is equal to A minus 1 here. Okay. So let me write this everything then we'll understand it. So this is your program and we will be understanding that magic with the help of this one. So let's run this then only we will discuss about that. So what you expected a is 11 here but b is 10 here. So what is happening here? See after that this minus minus is resulting c as 11. So this c is 11 but a is 10. So what is this? So let's try to understand it this way. And yes. That magic whatever is happening here, like a is equal to 11 but b is 10. Okay. So you was thinking maybe it will be like a plus plus. So this will become 11 and 11 will go inside b. So a is also 11, b is also 11. Okay. But this a is 11 but b is 10 here. So this magic happens when you initialize your post expression into some another variable. Okay. So we'll see the reason behind that. So whenever it is like b is equal to a plus plus, it works like this. Computer does break up here. Computer does like this. b is equal to a and then a is equal to a plus 1. That's why your a was incremented. But b was the a's old value. Okay. See here b was old value which is this 10 here and a was incremented. So this one expression will get replaced by these two expression. Okay. So it work like this and same for this minus also. So if it is like c is equal to a minus minus computer will break this into something like this. c is equal to a here and then a is equal to a minus 1. Got it? But why it is doing like this? Actually, the convention is if it is post increment or post decrement, then it should decrement later. First, it should initialize whatever the value is. Okay. So what is the value is a here? It is 11 here because it is incremented. Okay. So that 11 will come first here. Then only a will get decremented. So that 11 is coming here. Then this a is becoming 11 minus 1, 10. Okay. And same for this. If it is post increment, you increment post before you just assign whatever the value is. Okay. That's why this B was 10 and this A was 11 here. Okay. So this is how this post increment work. And there is no magic in pre increment. If it is like this, so this we was talking about post here. Okay. If we'll talk about pre here, that pre is something like this. If that pre is plus plus, 
a here then computer would translate this into one single line only and that line would look like this b is equal to a is equal to a plus 1 so see if you will start executing this line you will see i am supposed to initialize this b with a so but this a is not the final value i am supposed to change this a with some another expression so you will come here so there is no further expression so you will evaluate this expression so let's suppose your a is 10 here so this is like 10 plus 1 11 so 11 will go here so that 11 will come here okay that's why this a and b both would be having the updated value but that is not the case here because it is breaking into two different statements here okay so this is the difference between pre and post got it actually i was thinking that i'll be creating a different video for the difference but that is not a very big thing so i have concluded that here only okay but i may keep a quiz video to explain different different cases and different different questions possible with this pre and post okay so that you can expect so we are done here with pre and post increment and decrement operators okay so let's look at the next video now